Hi guys, welcome back to another progress vlog. So today I'm gonna be doing Rudeus, as you can already tell from the thumbnail. And I believe I'm making this outfit from season one. Anyways, Jabba's reincarnation is really good. So these are the colors I'll be using for him. Here is 40 Red by I Love This Yarn. This is Crafter's Secret Greybeard. Here is Crafter's Secret Dark Ivory for his hair, since he does have dark blonde hair. And here is Citron from Impeccable for his eyes. Here's a gold or honey from Yarn Bees. Here's black, white, and magnolia way. And yeah, his color palette looks pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and be right back with the next update. Okay, so I'm back with the first update on the legs. Here are his shoes, starting off with the bottom, black. I did gray beard followed by the skin. And then I did the pants separately. For once I did pants with like two different colors. One round is like black and then it goes up to red, so that's pretty cool. I just sewed on these details of the shoes, like the lace part, except I simplified it. That's what that looks like. Be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. And hopefully you can hear me because I have a vacuum cleaner going on in the back. But anyways, here's the next update on the body. I attached on both of the arms and this is what it looks like with the head finished on. Here's Citron for the iris and then I gave him black rounded eyes and then here's the back side and he has a white shirt so next i'm gonna try to go ahead and finish off his outfit and then as well as add on his hair cap i'm using four inner rounds and three outer rounds for now and then i'm gonna see if that works or not i will go ahead and be back with the next update hi guys welcome back to the final update for rudia's so here is the complete look so i crocheted on his black vest and then i sewed on these little gold details there's no really right way that I did this. I don't know, I just kind of like followed the reference photo, created the little white collar right here. I also glued down the vest because like the middle of the shirt is gray. And then I sewed on black line that goes down vertically and then two gold yarns horizontally with some space in between them. And then here is the black yarn that I wrapped around his neck because he has like this little ribbon that's wrapped around. And then there's like a little gold knot right here to represent the golden brooch. And then here's his hair. So for the hair strands, I use dark ivory, which is like pretty much ashy kind of blonde. The two front strands right here are 12 chains. And then the rest are full of eight chains. And then I have like a four chain right here on this side. And then the other side is also a four chain. Here is a slip stitch strand. I gave him also two ears, eight chains fill across the bottom, and then I fill the rest up with more eight chains. So that is how I did his hair. So here's a side profile, the front. Here is the other side. And there you have it, the back side. So there you go, Rudius is finished. Next, we'll get started on Edis. Hi guys, so I'm now gonna be working on Edis. And these are the yarns I'm using for her. So right here, I already got started anyways. Here are the legs and this is the skirt that I attached to her. And some of the yarns to go over quickly. Black, this is 09 Brown from Crafter's Secret. Here is Classic Gray from Impeccable. Here is Magnolia Way, the skin color. And this is Fire Red from I Love This Yarn. White, and then I have like a coffee color on this side, which is from I Love This Yarn. Skirt at the bottom part, 09 brown, and it changed to coffee. And I just attached these little straps on the shoes. And she has pretty much white for all of her legs. So next I'll be doing the rest of her body. Be right back. Quick update on Edis. Here it is, her body. Her outfit's a little bit complicated. She has like cold shoulder shirt. So I went ahead and made a couple of pair of arms already. 
and here's what they look like starting off with the hand you have like this little detail which i think i used coffee for it and then it moves up to white this part is actually skin but you can't really tell anyway so when it's on i plan on having the little extra details of the shirt and yeah this is what it looks like here's a little band of red which will be covered for the most part i did back loop only right here so that way i can create the little second layer that's going to be on top so yeah prepping all this in advance in order to create like the extra layers it's so complicated and she has um red eyes and I gave her black cornered eyes. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. So can't wait to finish this off. Be right back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another quick update on Edis. So I'm currently just working on the bangs, starting off with eight chain two together here's a four chain i got eight chain on this side and a couple of more eight chains on this side a quick overview of the outfit so far but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish her off and i'll be back for the final update hi guys welcome back to the final update so here's eddie's with the completed look I like how the hair turned out. So here is going back to the outfit. I want to explain it more in detail. I placed on this little, what you call it, bottom of the shirt, at least that's what I'm calling it, in classic gray. I pretty much glued it around the bottom part on round 14. And then there's like a little space right here because she has like some space in the middle of the shirt. It splits open. And then here is also the other part where I had to flip the doll upside down. And then I did two rows of can't remember if it was like single crochet or half to crochet. The notes will be in the Kofi link. So I, yeah, I flipped it upside down and then I did these stitches all the way around onto the other side. I did leave one stitch open so that way it can like show the red part of the shirt. So yeah, not much of the red is visible. And then once I completely single crochet all the way around, I went ahead and sewed on this brown around it. I think it was coffee and the lines that I used to sew it is not on perfectly which is fine it was like a really quick detail that I did and then this is like the little belt around the middle of the shirt which I sewed that part on as well and then I also sewed on another line across the middle to show like the zipper part and then the hardest part was probably the cold shoulder area where I had to chain this long line and then I had to like wrap it around the shoulders to make it look like she was wearing like the cold shoulder outfit. And I simply pinned it down and then I glued it on. And so on the back side, it pretty much looks like that as well. It's all glued down and it looks basically the same thing as the front. For her neck, she has another brown ribbon wrapped around her neck. And then this one is like the tiny little bow which I made and I left a little bit of a tail on there to show like the little ribbons, which I glued it on right on top of her neck. And yeah, that's about it for her outfit. It's kind of annoying to make because of all the little details, but I think I managed to sort of pull it off and simplified it. So yeah, overall, pretty happy with her hair as well. I did some half double crochet strands along the bottom part for the longer strands. And then I just like tried to bend them in their shapes so that way they can have some sort of like curls. The top part is covered up with a bunch of eight chains all in like a little nice uneven rows. She also has like a black headband which I wrapped around the top. Here's like a four chain on this side and where the little hair strands pokes out. This is a slip stitch strand on the front side. The other side's pretty much the same thing. Another four chain right here and yeah slip stitch strand on top for the hair that sticks up and this is it for eddie's oh man she was quite complicated and then one last thing that i did for rudius was i gave him a mole using a sharpie marker permanent marker i just kind of like drew that on and that completes his look so yeah this is it for these two wow they look so cool i kind of want to create roxy and the other um forgot that that bald guy <laughs> forgot their names oh my gosh but that'd be so cool if i could like create them and put like the whole group together if you guys want to know how to make your own anime style hair i have links in the description box below to my Nikki hair tutorial pattern so you can also create your own anime doll style hair and the rest of the patterns are also down there below as well thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this content please give a like and a subscribe and share as well i'll be back with another video soon bye